For those of you who know me, know that I'm a lifelong X-Men fan. X-Men Apocalypse comes out later this month, and I just saw Civil War. I cannot believe I'm about to say this, but holy crap, I don't know how Apocalypse is going to top what I just saw. Captain America Civil War. So Captain America Civil War is a sequel to not only Captain America the Winter Soldier, but also to Avengers Age of Ultron. And there's basically two big events that are happening in Civil War. The first big thing is that Captain America and Iron Man are basically having a huge disagreement because there's this new act coming in that basically wants to keep the Avengers in check. Iron Man agrees with this where Captain America is totally not on the side and there's this whole, not only a mental but a psychological battle and a, of course a physical battle going on, but also with the events happening after Winter Soldier where Bucky discovers who he is and Captain America is basically trying to have his friendship with Bucky once again while also guarding him and then... Hell just breaks loose in the most nerdgasming way possible. Alrighty guys, so let's get into Captain America Civil War. So Civil War had a lot of expectations to love to, for me at least. For one thing, it's a sequel to The Winter Soldier, and it's a sequel to Age of Ultron, and they have to weave together all these characters while introducing two new characters. Oh my god, guys, I cannot believe it. They freaking did it. Okay, I'm just gonna say this right now. Everybody in this movie kills it. Chris Evans, Robert Downey Jr., Scar Johansson, Anthony Mackie, Paul Rudd, Elizabeth Olsen, Paul Benny. Everybody in this movie seriously brings it. Now, of course, I'm saving these two for last because these were the newly introduced characters. Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther and Tom Holland as Peter Parker slash Spider-Man. Let me talk about Black Panther first. Chadwick Boseman, as they introduce his character, Seriously, Chuck Bozeman killed his Black Panther. You understand his reason to why he's part of this in the first place. And oh my god, Black Panther, when he's in that costume, it is so badass. Oh my god. But oh my god, Tom Holland as Peter Parker slash Spider Man. Okay, so I'm just going to tell you guys right this right now. Of course, this is not a full Spider-Man movie. I totally see this. But for the amount of screen time that he has, and he does have quite a bit of screen time, I'm just going to tell you guys this right now. Tom Holland is automatically, from what I saw, not only the best Spider-Man, but the best Peter Parker. Tom Holland absolutely owned the role. He is better than Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire combined. Yeah, there's one certain moment that, that he has that I was just dying with laughter. The thing I was really impressed with was how everything was all intertwined together. This being a sequel to not only The Winter Souls, but also to Age of Ultron. How they're able to keep Bucky and Cap's friendship intertwined with also having the consequences of what happened. Not only Age of Ultron, but also in the first Avengers and Civil War. How they just interweaved all this stuff together, it blew my mind. I don't know how they did it, but to the screenwriters, seriously. Well done for juggling so much in this one movie. And also, huge credit to the directors, the Rousseau brothers, who tackled so many things at once. Not only having to giving all these characters a moment to shine, but also having to tell a story with these new characters. And with the returning characters, giving them more depth. Another thing I really absolutely dug was how, and so War, how the team members disagree with each other and how this act should be in no place. I was Team Cap going in it. But the thing is, when I was watching this movie, I'm not gonna lie, I was flip-flopping back and forth when I was with Captain America. I was like, you know what, I totally see where it coming from. But then when I hear Tony Stark's side, I was just thinking, huh, you've opened up my eyes. There is a point to your argument there. The action sequences as well. Now the thing is, I absolutely love the action sequences in The Winter Soldier. They improve upon that in so many ways in Civil War. In particular, the fight where all the Avengers fight each other. Wow. Guys, this fight, I'm telling you right now, is the best fight I have ever seen in a comic book film. Not only is this a brutal fight, 
it's also entertaining, there's a lot of heart put into it, and it's also hysterical. I can't. Guys, I'm truly blown away by what I saw. Now, I'm not gonna lie guys, I have one tiny nitpick. Now, Daniel Brühl was in this movie and he plays the villain in this movie. He was very underutilized. He's maybe in the movie for maybe a few scenes, but guys, I'm telling you right now, I did not care about this. It was that good. Overall guys, Captain America Civil War is just an achievement in terms of what Marvel has done with the comic book movies. Not only is Captain America Civil War a great sequel to The Winter Soldier and Avengers Age of Ultron, but also as a film trilogy, for me it goes up there for me as one of the best film trilogies I have seen. And I'm about to say this right now guys, this is without a doubt the best not only superhero movie I have seen since Days of Future Past, but it's also the best comic book movie I have seen since Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Captain America Civil War gets a 5 out of 5 for me. It's absolutely my favorite films of the year. Oh my god, guys. See this movie when you get the chance. You will not be disappointed by a single bit of this movie, guys. Alrighty, guys. So comment down and let me know below which side are you on. Team Cap or Team Iron Man? Let me know below. If you guys like this review, please like, share, and subscribe to see more content from me. And, as always, until the next review, I will see you all next time.